just hanging out here in SoCal with us. Yeah, I mean, uh, Cosmos won the last uh, MSM last week with uh, with a win yeah, over did. Leon. This is very nice. Well, let's see. He's going to be fighting Nexus right now. Yeah, just got to wait for uh, these two to put their names in. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. A uh, couple things on my mind that I'm like debating bringing up. Yeah, I know. We won't bring them up. <laughs> we, won't, we, we won't bring them up. Anyways. Um, yeah. All righty. So I think we're starting to get into probably like the winners quarters, winners semis of like the pools, and then maybe like maybe like after these sets of rounds, it'll be like winners quarters of the the tournament. Not 100% sure. It is smaller, so I do expect things run to be running a little bit faster today. But let's see, man. Every time I see Cosmos, his hair just gets taller and taller. You see how his headphones? It's just like <laughs> yeah, it's like squishes part of his hair, and then like it goes around it. It's like flames. I think maybe it's an anime thing, like. As you become more experienced, you grow more hair. Probably, yeah. Is yeah. there any enemies yeah, like, like that? It's like the sands, yeah. Like oh, they the grow, sands, grow more right. hair. Yeah. But anyways, going with Toon Link, okay. I always know Nexus as like a Falco player, so I didn't know if he had like a different main in Ultimate. It looks like he's going with the Toon Link this time around. Very interesting pick. I mean, a lot of a lot of people say or say good things about this character. Uh, the Toon Link niche is kind of uh, kind of all over the place with like what how they feel about this character. Very nice from Cosmos using the the throw invincibility to get around that boomerang coming back. Yeah. Able to come back, get up attack. I'll try to catch him landing with the, the roller. Not quite, though. Yeah, Cosmos just getting immediately in Nexus's face here <laughs> as soon as he tries to pressure uh, or tries to you know, throw out death? those projectiles. And death, yeah. All right, so yeah, Cosmos is going to be up. Only by like, uh, he's already on 112 percent though. So if Nexus can find something, got a little went a little bit yeah. too hard there. Going for the the up smash read there when your opponent is almost halfway up the screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Usually a little advised. Yeah, and of course that back air, very safe tool from Inkling. It'll set up into grabs. It'll set up into all of your beginning combo starters. So definitely a very safe move. You can see why he's throwing out a neutral a lot. But he's finally gonna get caught. Misspaces his grab, up smash comes in from Nexus. It will close out that next stock. Yeah, the uh, up smash hitbox does come out in front of you, so it is a decent approach option if you need that kill. <laughs> that was very nice from Cosmos. He went for the roller, noticed that he was going to run away from it, then decided not to keep going for it. I feel like a lot of Inklings, when they throw it out, um, they keep it out kind of thinking that their opponent will eventually run into it. But uh, a lot of people have been g getting good at that roller counterplay. Come a long way since uh, month one of Smash Ultimate, for sure. Edge guard scenario. Yeah, I mean, yep. See all these moves develop over time. Exciting. And the bomb going to save him there. Yeah, Cosmos thought he could maybe get like something after the bomb strike, but not quite. Now all of, now all of a sudden we're even, basically. I mean, if, if Nexus can get something going, and this is sometimes the struggle of Toon or excuse me, of Inkling is that if you're a very safe character, but you won't get safe kills until like the higher percents, like 150, 160, like we just saw there. So. Very nice. Yeah. Back air into jab. Of course, Cosmos would know that uh, back air at zero is minus on hit. Or it's not about minus on hit, but um, you, it won't lead into grab for a true combo, so you have to do jab instead uh, to be able to get something true off of it. Well, snatches up that bomb there. Probably was going for a jab. And just Roller? Up, but reacts quickly to it nonetheless. That's right, yeah. Okay, this bob is, these bombs are just changing hands back and forth. Yeah, uh, I. I I feel like either Cosmos knows or Nexus knows that, like, uh, yeah, Inkling moves are going to have a lot of tech chase, tech chase scenarios, so you're going to want to go for Roller, but it looks like either Nexus is, like, DIing up or maybe Toon Link is just too floaty, so there are no tech chase situations to be worried about. But Cosmos is still going to get the kill off of that edge guard. Very nice. He's going to get game one, seal it off very nicely. Yeah, I feel like this is a difficult matchup uh, for Toon Link just because uh, Inkling is... is that's a great dash. There's a lot of solid movement options, and uh, you know, obviously, Tink wants to sort of keep you out. He does have those dif disjoints, but they're not nearly as big as a lot of the other characters, uh, sword characters. All right, let's see here. Okay, switches to the the purple inkling. We got the purple tuning too. All right, matchies. Yeah, that's sort of a theme tonight, I guess. <laughs> Going with the matching colors. 
Tilt's coming in. Yeah, uh, Nexus throwing out a lot of buttons right now. But there we go. Gets the jabs. Jumps right over the bomb. Bomb out there. Kind of hanging around. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, back here to back here. Yeah. Next is a little bit of a lead here. It may go all the way with this ledge trap. And, yeah. Nexus off stage. Gets the player there. Yeah, very nice from Nexus. Didn't run away, just jumped over it. Very quick decision making from Nexus's part. Cosmo's almost out of ink, but I feel like he'll find himself a scenario where he'll have enough ink to be able to do what he wants. Right now, it's just playing safe aerials and trying to go for reads like that. Not quite going to work. Out of ink now. Got to be careful. Yeah, yeah. he's going to back off here. And uh, getting a little lucky there. Nexus putting himself off stage. Not able to push the punch. Advantage. And that ink bomb going to blow up. I think what the bomb set it off. Yeah. That was a very nice snipe. He threw it up with the single throw or the single charge throw. So it would just stay out there a little bit longer and then catch Nexus's line of sight. Yeah, those explosion hip hops will actually set off the, the ink bombs. But not... Uh, regular hitboxes. Usually they'll just make a bounce. Roller, what's he go for? Okay, just plain old up smash. The other option would have been to like jump over Nair, like try to get reset another tech take switch, in, but uh, decided to go for the damage there. Okay, just goes for the up smash. He saw Cosmos maybe it looked like he wanted to go in there. Yeah. I, it was a little too quick to see, but I feel like he like charged up smash, so then. Uh, he like low profiled the back air so that he was able to get it on the back hit of up smash. <laughs> but uh, Cosmo's still up a whole whole stock basically. Like if he, he can close it out very quickly soon. He just he's like, okay, yeah, I'll do it. The Zare not quite connecting, so Cosmo's gonna close out that stock very nicely. Oh, and the <laughs> the, ink, the little squid thing he does in the dash, low profiling under the Zare. Mm -hmm. A lot of hook shots coming out from. Yeah, it's just here. He I just kind of want to keep, wants to keep Cosmos at bay. Yeah, that's just a very scary thing about Ingling though. You saw he like jab, dashed in, jab, jab, dash back, dash in again, like grab, dash back. Like Ingling is just a, such a mobile character. It's very difficult and kind of scary to try and confront him at the ledge like that. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, yeah all right. The, the bomb there extending the hitbox a little bit. Yeah, it was like arrow one, force out the jump, uh, bomb two. Force out the air dodge, and then as he was drifting down, he got the he got the kill off of that. That was great uh, positioning and control from Nexus. Yeah, Cosmos tried to cover himself with the bomb, but it just didn't work out for him. Mm -hmm. oh, trying to use that fair. It has a long lasting hit hitbox. It's basically like a Diddy Kong fair, where you can uh, get edge guards off of it and get trades off of it too. Well, let's see. Nexus looking like he's trying to bring this back. Yeah, I mean, he's got a good shot here. Yeah, he's just kind of fishing for a uh, roller. I think he's kind of realized that now's not the good time anymore. He's given up too much percent off of trying to fish for a roller. So he's probably going to go for something else. Down smash, yeah, put him nice. on the other side of the stage. That ledge trap out. Oh, oh trades with the... Yeah. He just perfectly spaces that back air to trade with the... Uh, yeah. I mean, that... I mean, Inkling's uh, 